Welcome back to Inspiring Builds. I'm Dan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a door rubbing the floor like this one. If you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss any of these tutorials. Sometimes it's a simple fix and the hinge screws just need tightened. All the screws were tight with no door sag. The issue here is that the concrete slopes and the gap at the bottom wasn't cut big enough at the time of the build. Account for additional space if an area has a rug or carpet. Measure the gap on each side of the door. Personally, I prefer a half inch gap which is enough to allow for sufficient airflow, but also not too high to be very noticeable. The door needed a three quarter inch gap to account for the slope in the concrete and carpet. I use a scrap piece of wood to scribe a cut line. This scrap piece of prime pine was just shy of three quarters of an inch. I found a piece of scrap cabinet grade that I used on a custom kitchen build for a true three quarters of an inch. Some may choose to use a hand or electric planer to take off the end of the door rubbing or just sand that end down. However, I like a consistent height look when the door is closed. My method is to scribe a line on both sides of the door as shown. The next step is to remove the hinge pins. I prefer to use a nail punch and hammer that I will link in the description along with the rest of the items to complete this fix. However, I wasn't at my house and used a nail that worked perfectly fine. I find it easier to leave the door latched until all the pins are removed. If any pins are tight, you can pull slightly up on the door as I had to do to remove the top pin. The door is now ready to be removed. Have a pair of sawhorses set up and place the door with the side the cut lines are marked on facing up. Ensure the door handle is placed between the two sawhorses. Grab some painter's tape and a straight edge that is a little longer than the width of the door. Plywood or MDF makes a great straight edge. Line up the straight edge with the mark scribed on the door earlier and draw a line straight across the door. This will be our cut line. Apply painter's tape as this will keep a clean cut line and avoid any damage to the door. Apply the first tape line on the line that was just marked as this will be the cut line. Wrap the tape all the way around the door. Is that the cut line? It will be. We're gonna do like a quarter inch up so the gap was about a half inch. We're gonna do three quarter inch. Okay. That way it'll account too for the carpet. We're gonna tape a little further up though. Because we're gonna do an inch and a half up, count for the blade height on the circular saw. Okay. Put that Diablo in my hand saw. The Diablo blade's nice. Take a look to ensure the tape looks good on both sides. The distance between the edge of the circular saw's base and blade is one and a half inches. Therefore, mark one and a half inches up from the cut line. Set the straight edge and draw a line straight across. Clamp down the straight edge. I prefer using these Irwin quick clamps that are strong, quick, and easy to use. I will provide a link to them below. A circular saw is used to make this cut and when setting your straight edge, as I did, just measure from the base to the blade as shown here, and this is where I came up with the one and a half inches. As mentioned earlier, with the straight edge being a little longer than the width of the door, this will allow the saw's base to be flush against the straight edge before starting the cut. You can check that the blade will align with the cut mark as well. Adjust the saw blade just deep enough to cut all the way through the door. It's optional to score a line against a straight edge with a razor all the way around the door to prevent chip out. However, I've had great success without this step. 
Make your cut with a circular saw taking your time to ensure the base of the saw stays against the straight edge. I should have also clamped the door down to the saw horses, but used my hand a safe distance away as I already started the cut. A shop vac was used as well to control the dust with it being inside the house. Remove the clamps and the tape. The cut line turned out perfect with no damage to the door. Put the door back on the hinges. Align the hinges and slide the hinge pins back in. Once all three hinge pins are in, tap them back down with a hammer. The gap under the door is consistent all the way across. Test to ensure the door opens and closes freely without obstruction. I really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, I have another one queued up for you in the corner that you'd probably like as well. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I release new videos. Perfect. Thank you, Dan. That's awesome.